How would you like a 33% discount on your mortgage? Jeremy Lovett here. This is the Happy Home Buyer number 16, and today I've got Warren Taro with Taro the County. And I'm extremely happy. <laughs> there you go. He's going to tell us kind of how we could potentially get a 33% discount off of our mortgage. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true. There's obviously caveats, but that's what we're going to go into right now. So, what, what, what exactly are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the federal deduction off your income taxes for your home mortgage interest. All right, to illustrate this fact, I put together two scenarios before we press record. The first one is a simple FHA purchase, $275,000 purchase price, 3.5% down. I ran the rates on all that. It's 3.25% with an APR of 4.028%. The monthly principal and interest payment on that thing is $1,175 and the monthly FHA mortgage insurance premium is $186. If I do all that math, annualize it over 12 months, we're looking at a total of $10,854 in interest and mortgage insurance with both of those being deductible, okay. correct? Correct. Okay. Most of those people are going to be around the 15% tax bracket. Right. Some might be a little bit higher, but you're you're pretty pretty exactly. right. So I looked through a few of my FHA. They're right there squarely in the 15% tax bracket in most of those cases. If they were a little bit higher, they'd probably be buying a higher home, things like that. So you take 15% of that figure and we come up with 1628 bucks. That's, if you annualize it backwards, $136 a month. Now, offsetting the amount you owe the government every single month by $136. I look at that as a positive. Right. And maybe it means you can afford a little bit more than you thought you could. It, Maybe. If you, if you look at that over the entire year, there you go. That's the more moderate end of things. If you look on the very other end of the spectrum, up towards the maximum amount that's allowable on the interest deduction, we're looking at like a $1.25 million purchase, 20% down, puts us right at a million dollars. Is a million dollars the most that you can write You off? can actually get a little bit higher than that. You can get up to $1.1 million. Okay, how would we do that? Uh, by using $100,000 of home equity. So you can use up to a million dollars for acquisition or improvements to your home. Mm -hmm. And then you can also do $100,000 home equity, which you can use for anything, including the purchase of the house. Got it. I didn't know that, so I did this right at a million dollars. Million dollars, the interest rate on that worked out to 3.875. We use the same figures that we do for our weekly uh, apples to apples rate comparison. That's an APR of 3.894%. That monthly mortgage, in, our principal and interest payment works out to $4,702. That's 20% down, so there's no mortgage insurance there, which they wouldn't be able to deduct that anymore. Right. You can only deduct mortgage insurance if your income's $100,000 or less. And after that, it phases out and 109000 is gone. Gotcha. And at $100,000 in income, you're not, you're not qualifying for the million dollar mortgage. I reverse engineered my math on how much they were making to okay. qualify for a mortgage like that. It puts them squarely into the 33% tax bracket. So their annualized interest on that uh, mortgage is going to be 38400 and change. 33% of that is $12,683, and if you average that out over 12 months, you're looking at $1,057 per month in savings. So that's one third of their principal and interest payment. Right. That's, that's how you And that's significant. That is significant. And you know, you can do this f for more than one house, too. So like say, I'm not going to spend a whole million on a house. Got it. You can have up to two houses, your home and a second home. Just one home and a second home? They couldn't have this third second home to hit it all Only up? two. You only had a choice between two. Now, you can switch. If you had three houses, for example, you can switch which ones you're using every year. You Got don't it. have to stick with that. But Probably you choose expecting. the two with the highest mortgages? Yes. That's how to get basically 33% off of your mortgage payment um, by using taxes correctly. And uh, Warren, I appreciate you coming in here. Thanks. If there's ever anything you need tax question wise, this is your man, Warren Taro with Tarla County. I'm going to have all of his info here on the screen. Call him if you need apps or anything. And, and hey, make sure you are my favorite mortgage guy. You know See, that. See, right? look at there. Why? Because my clients, it seems like they don't have the hassles they do a lot of times. So thank you for making it simple for my clients. They just don't. And when you shop me, you don't have nearly as much interest deduction anyway. So while that may be a double-edged <laughs> sword, I'm sure you don't want to be spending the money. So if there's anything we can do to help you, just give us a call. This was Happy Home Buyer number 16. Check us out next time, and we'll talk to you very soon.